holler. Kind of Base in the jump in the tank. Jump in the fucking tank. Yo, 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 it's your boy C Breezy. Make sure y'all check out my episode right here. Drink champ. Yeah. I'm gonna calm down. Yeah, nah, for real, just a joke. That you are the goat. Yeah, that's right. And we giving you your motherfucking flowers. Yeah, man. Uh, Snoop Dogg told us this is better than getting the Grammy because. What it good be? Hoping this winner should be this your boy N O R E. What up, is DJ E F N? And this is Drink Champs Happy Hour, but I'm gonna be honest. This is about to be one of our biggest episodes ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Yeah. We got the new, or maybe the original, <laughs> Michael Jackson in the motherfucking building. <laughs> this man, I can't tell you he got hits. He got more than hits, more than hits. This nigga be dropping albums with 22 songs on it. <laughs> Hella songs. Hella songs. Uh, Hella songs. This nigga keep going. He don't want to stop. Don't and guess to. what? I'm gonna be honest, EFN. I might come out of retirement because I need a hook. Let's go. Let's, get it. Let's go. What are we doing? But in case these people don't know what I'm talking about, in case people don't know who we're talking about, this man has destroyed a whole era. He has continued to make hits after hits after hits. I put a playlist together and it was 3,000 songs. One stop. <laughs> <laughs> Two days. In case you don't know the fuck we're talking about, we're talking about the one, huh. the only, motherfucking Chris Brown! Thank y'all, man. Now, Chris, let that me just say... The in introduction was amazing, bro. That was amazing, yeah, correct? I appreciate that, I, I did my job, I did my job, <laughs> but let me just tell you something. But do you, because I actually... Our fans are fucking great fans, right? So they're yeah. saying, we know Chris Brown is coming out with an album on the 24th. Do you guys have a... Um, Yo, they've been... They, they've, they've been, been stalking us. Yeah, they've been yeah, on to stalk you, right? Yeah, yeah, let's get and it. And then we were stalking you. Fuck it. We, 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 we went through it. We had the crib. But, 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 yeah, for sure. but for sure. here's the deal. And I don't think anybody's ever watched... Ever asked you this question. Do you feel like the new Michael Jackson? Damn. Uh, personally, my real honest opinion, no. You know, I, I feel like... Nobody can replace that man. That man kind of like, he's still the, the end-all, be-all when it comes to uh, entertainment, even subject matter of songs. How, Are you how, smoking smoke champs? I like your style. Yeah, yeah, you know, mm, I, I like your style. Up, yeah, yeah, I like you promoting too, so. our product immediately. I, I, I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. But I ain't, what, I ain't be scary, but uh -huh. I just feel like he he's he's like Jesus to me, you know? So I, I feel like I could never be in his his shoes. I can only like be inspired by him, you know, and and try to. I don't want to imitate him because his magic is his magic. So me being able to even have that conversation, I'm I'm flattered, but I'm, I'm also like honest with myself. Like hell, no, nah, you ain't fucking mm -hmm. better than no Michael Jackson. Hell, nah. no. No, they didn't say better. They said the new. Okay, cool. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm the new. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say I'm the new. I just say I just say I'm I'm Chris Brown. I think uh, he's a a, a real real. Uh, Impactful person in, to, in the reason why I do this, you know what I'm saying? So I could, it's like uh, Jordan and LeBron or Jordan and Kobe. Like right. it's two different eras, so you never really get to see what it what it could have been or what it is. But mm -hmm. I feel like he, if without him, I wouldn't even know what to do. Like I'll be real. I love the humble answer. Yeah. Now that's real though. The, about that situation. Now you talk about somebody else. I'm like, man, I'm flaming them. What you talking about? Oh, <laughs> oh you smoking anybody in verses? Yeah, Just throw yeah, it out there. Sure. Nobody don't want no smoke with you in verses. Yeah. I'll shut nobody. Let's just keep it. You know, I my brother. Like, yeah. I don't even. My whole position on the on the verses thing is, is like, it's cool. It's dope what it's doing with the culture. But I, I feel like where I'm at in my in my quarter of my game, like, I'm not down 20 points. You feel me? Like, so I feel like me doing that would be like, okay, you know, I'm about to hang it up. So uh, that's a real, real, real Chris, Chris, this is some great shit you talking. 
You know what I mean? You basically saying you smoking everybody. I'm smoking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want all the smoke, man. I want all the smoke, you want all, Yo, hold, yo, I'm not going to lie. That's been like a debate. Yeah. A who Chris Brown could battle on versus. Yeah, don't get me wrong now. Like, I know what the the, the, the consensus is, but because I'm a fan of their music too. So when I hear some of this, I'm like, ooh. Well, so who, who, when, you say they, when you say they, who you talking about? Because they, they only can be. I mean, it, well, it's, it's only the. It's not even they. Okay. Uh. I would just say they they want me and Usher to do it. Mm. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm. it, it only makes sense, but it gotta make more sense. Like, I I I would want to celebrate him and his life just as much as celebrating my stuff. So, cause both of us, I can't I can't act like he ain't a pioneer as well. Right. Man, Usher is That's Usher, what we love man. about you, That's Chris. Usher. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I think it would be it would be something good for the fans, but it would have to just make sense for both of us. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got a hell of songs. That's all I can say. I just got. But you saying time. when it boils down to it? Oh, I ain't. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's still yeah. going there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it. Yeah. Let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> now, Chris, all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I might have been one person who seen the beginning yeah. of your growth. Facts. For real. For real. Tina Davis days, I remember, man. Yeah. Yes. I was like 14, 15. Yes, yeah, yes, I remember. Yes. I ain't forget hell. Ah, hell damn, yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm good at my job. Listen, I, I remember one night I was in the studio. We was in Criteria Studio. I was mixing a song. I'm like kind That's of Criteria like. Criteria New York or Miami? No, Miami. Miami. Okay, okay. Miami. I'm kind of I finished mixing. Tina Davis steps to me and says, I got this new artist. He needs this studio. <laughs> I switched studios with, with you. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. Okay. I was I was nervous too. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm not. Don't nobody know me. Like, we about to ask this gangster to move up. Man, y'all tripping? You gonna give me beat up like I saw you. No, 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 let me hang it, girl. I'm over. Look down. Yo, Chris, but I can't lie. That might have been the best move I ever made in my life. <laughs> because as I did this, I said, yeah. Tina Davis asked me, "Can you switch studios?" With this new artist, no one never kn heard of you at the time. I think it's Run It. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was like right before we dropped, right before we were going. Like we were. The only reason why I say it's Run It is because Scott Storch produced Run It. Yeah, yeah. And I believe it was a session with you and Scott. Yeah, we was in there. Yeah, Diego, you was there for sure. For what, sure. What were you recording? Man. I was high. You don't remember? <laughs> it wasn't Melvin Flynn. It was, it was after that. I don't know what it was. I was just high doing dumb shit. <laughs> and, and then. Dina Davis says, says, yo, and it, it wound up being you. Yeah. And it's a story I love. My brother. I <laughs> love it. because I got to see your beginning. Yeah. To where we at right now. Your beautiful, gorgeous, goddamn house. I'm not gonna lie, I think <laughs> I, I want you to design my crib. Can you help me? I mean, I, my, my shit is a lot of chaos, you know what I'm saying? It's a, you can see it's a lot of shit that's going on in my head all Did the time. Did you do any of this art? Yeah, you did. Yeah, so so it's it's one of my homies is here too. His name is D Cozy. She's but dope. me and him consistently probably did that. We did this wall. We did this wall together. Uh, a lot of these different canvases, like certain certain stuff is uh, individual pieces, but right. a lot of the art is like By the my way, homies. That's dope. Know, especially I've the outside seen, shit too. I never seen somebody art on a refrigerator. Yeah, I was bored one night. You know what I'm saying? And it was <laughs> no, you just, draw it, that. Slide. Yeah, you see, I put the Supreme shine over the titties. <laughs> Cause my, my, my kids was coming in here and I was like, oh shit, I forgot I got titties just on, on the refrigerator. I just got to figure that out. So I kind of changed it up a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> and you got the Supreme Horn. It's just not, the, sure. it's not from the Supreme Horn. That's the red flag horn. This the, this, this, when, sure. this when shit go down when wrong you, in the grid. You see all the red flags, hit that motherfucker. <laughs> all right, all right. Get him up out you. <laughs> so you rolling up? Yep. Okay. So. We established that you think Anybody, nobody can battle you in verses. We established that, right? I mean, I, I would just be modest and say, hey, man, it's a lot of great talent out there. But I'm nice, too. <laughs> okay, but let me ask you something. When pe a person like Jacquees says he's the king of r <laughs> <laughs> That's my little bro, man. I know what he means. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to get him talking. Like, you feel me? And I, and I know that. Me knowing him and his vocal ability and his talent, mm -hmm. he's he's been with me since. I'm talking about I knew Jacquees when he had braces. Like I'm talking about when we was 
he was having to call his mom, can I just stay over here for the weekend? No, you got school tomorrow. Like. Mm. So me seeing his his uh, progress and be, getting in the studios, not a lot of motherfuckers that can get in the studio with me or with certain, and just pick up the flow. Like, I don't mm. sit there and write the lyrics down and sit with it. Right. Like, I'm fast. Like, my ADHD gonna make me get it done. Mm. <laughs> so right. him, him, he was able to, like, consistently keep up with me on a lot of songs and actually play me some stuff that he had wrote and then I wrote some stuff with him too. So I, I respect his gangster when he says it on the R and B side, but I know what he mean. He just mean hey, I'm the I'm the young young little nigga out here right now with it that can do this. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. else trying to sing like this. So I, I, I give him the respect on that end. It's just, it's just a different type of conversation with me though. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, no, no, that's no, no. it's respectful. different. It's different. Ain't nobody yeah. fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, nigga. Come on. Man, nah, just man. say it. Just say it. Ain't nobody fucking with you. I'm just thankful that I'm I'm able to be consistent to an audience who doesn't uh who doesn't kind of change their perspective on me due to my music. Like mm -hmm. my music, I always kind of shines through. So I'm that's what I'm really like. I'm 33. I'm appreciative of sit, being able to sit over here and be like, yo, we got this going on? I can. Damn. I got a video? You're oh, we about to put this out? Yeah, I started as a child, 14. too, man. That's yeah. crazy. You feel me? Yeah. I'm a legend. <laughs> yeah. 33 now. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> so let, let, let's, let's take it from the beginning, right? Yeah. Because we just had Jewel Santana on. Yeah, bro, scared. And Jewel said, I thought I was the first person on Run It, but then Bow Wow said on the Soldier Boy battle that he was the first person on Run It. Yeah. Can we eliminate this rumor right now, Chris? So, so you know, Shad is my brother, man, but Shad be cap sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I love Shot. But nah, he was actually. When you say Shot, you talking about Bow Wow. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. For so niggas that's not cool. Yeah, my fault. Right. Yeah. Right. But so Bow, right? So he he definitely was the first. I'm talking about person who said, look, look, you want to get on tour? You want to? Mm. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Like he was not a hater. It was a lot of uh, mm. singers out. There was a lot of other people that was kind of a little, mm. little bit. Like, I don't fuck with him. Like so, I used to be like, all right, Bow was like the first one. But when we did run it, it was like. We did run it, like I said, in, in, in Hit Factory in Miami, but I was like 14, and they was like, well, who you want to feature? I said, man, Jewel Santana. Mm. Like, and, and we had already we already solidified that like before we even put the video out. We had his, wow. his version, but Bow, in, in the months of that timing, he did do it. Bow, Bow did his he verse, did version because Jermaine oh, Dupree did I the uh, Wait, Jermaine so Dupree did the remix. He did it after though, Jewel. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was it wasn't the first. It, like, yeah, okay. but Bow was the first person to take me on tour, and be like, look, I I fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Hey man, that is a legendary story, right? <laughs> yeah, that is a legendary <laughs> story. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pop me some Ace of Spades champagne. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um this shit, I always look at this shit with this logo on it. I'm like, oh, I'm about to, somebody casting yeah. a spell on it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Illuminati. Yeah, this it's is definitely a... come on. Hot. You wanna join it? Let's I'm, join. I'm gonna take a shot though. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I right, cool. got my marijuana too. Yeah. Hey, you got calm they, down. They thought, before we started <laughs> filming, they thought I was a yeah, bitch yeah. behind this, so I'm like, okay, let me take a shot. And, and, but I have to warn you, my face never changes. If it's nasty, it's nasty. So my face, it's like a mechanism. I don't, I don't, know, what you, I don't know what type of challenge you challenging us, <laughs> Chris Brown, but we in. That right there? We yeah. are in. Yeah. 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 Where's, my, where's my shot? Cheers, cheers. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, see, I didn't cheer because I was trying to get this shit out the way. Hold on, where's my shot? This motherfucker ain't right. Are you working on We got to rock passion. All right, cool. Pump yes, we up. do. It's fantastic. <laughs> so, let's ask you, right? <laughs> yeah. Coming from Virginia. Mm -hmm. What's up, Virginia, by the way? Yeah, big up to We're going to Virginia tomorrow. A word? Um, uh, we're doing a something in the water concert yeah, 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 with Pharrell. Yeah. That's, that's going to be amazing, bro. So, I, let's describe us for a person that's never been to Virginia. Uh -huh. Describe Virginia and how it was like your childhood. Shit, Virginia's tricky. Um... I can't say nothing about Mason Dixon line, correct? Somewhat, but what, what town in Virginia are you from? See, I'm from Tappahannock, so it's just, that's like the sticks. My like high school class was right. like my graduating class was maybe like 26 people. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? The school town. only hold like 607 single A schools, so that's different. And my cousins and different family members they're from different parts of Richmond, like mm. you know what I'm saying? You South Side, you got uh, it's just so many different like hoods and cliques, but there's different type of. Uh, Slangs is weird. Like you mm. might be from one part, and then you sound like you from Philly, <laughs> and wow. then, then you from the the sticks, and you be like, "Hey man, what the hell going on, Shout Yeah, like it'll be totally opposite. Mine was really the sticks. Mm. You feel me? So then, as I uh, started doing music, I like for real where they from? That's like Long Beach and L.A. 
Where's mm. Pharrell from? He's from He's from North Like uh, Hampton Like like 757 Okay, seven. okay. You know uh, what I'm saying So like uh-huh. Norfolk basically So uh-huh. they're, We would never run into them Really Okay Like Trey He's, he's Petersburg They're like 30 minutes from us So so like I kind of know his people When you, you know say Trey people. You're talking about Trey Song Trey Song My okay. fault Yeah so yeah mm-hmm. So like Virginia for me I would just say it's it's they don't be playing out there neither. Like as much as you know, what I'm saying we don't try to boost boost the gangster shit up and all that. But man, everybody who know about Virginia know about Virginia. It's just like you feel me. So it's just like two of my favorite players is from Virginia: Allen Iverson okay, and Mike Vick. Of course, Vick. the goat, Bubba Chuck, man. Hell yeah. And I'm I'm, yeah. I'm going to see Mike Vick um, for his 10th anniversary uh, in Vegas. That's hard. Me and my wife, we're going out there. That's dope. Cause you know That's why dope. we fuck with Virginia niggas. Hey. Yeah, you see it. You see it. Yo, but, but we got you coming from Virginia. You got Mike Vick. You got Allen Iverson. Macy's. Timberland. Yeah, Timberland. There's a lot coming Tim, out of Virginia. Tank. He from DMV area. Uh, damn, there's so many people. Lady of Rage. Yeah. Nah, stop yeah, that. Yeah. Lady of Rage is from oh, fucking Virginia. Yeah, we, 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 someone said it on on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Nah, she's definitely from VA. Yeah, she's yeah. from Virginia. Yeah. Holy right. moly, guacamole. Yeah. But yeah, man, said it, right? Yeah, yeah. But he said it. I think about I think, Lady what Rage. is it? Sent? Not saying. But, but how oh, is it transitioning? Coming from Virginia, you getting a, a, a record label and, and uh, a record deal. And your first label was Jive. Yeah, my first okay. one. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but wait, no. How do you get the record deal to start with? Man, this shit was a miracle. Um, I, I I know everybody probably look at my old like discography and be like, he ain't got picked up at a gas station. And but uh, no, my daddy worked at a gas station at right. the time. So basically, what happened <laughs> with me is I would hang with a certain uh, group of people that wouldn't be particularly liked, right. you know. But I would I would also tell my mom like, hey mom, I'm, I'm working with these people. We doing some music, so. Mm. I would, you know, be able to get out of school early or go to certain places and always record songs. But I, they'd be like the people I was with, some real, some gangsters. So, and I imagine older than you because you, you was a kid. Yeah, definitely right. older than me. So from there, I would, I would go from man Richmond to DC all the way to uh, Pennsylvania. Then we'll get go to New York. But I'm 13, 12, 13 at this time. Crazy. And I would, I would still do my schooling and stuff like that. But I was basically, I got heard from Tina Davis on a CD of of about 13 artists. So I, so it was like you know how you sing your demo as a, as a group. So I was number seven on that on that song, and it was just because the song label that does that to check out new artists, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah. boom, they was yeah. This is so good. Hold it's on, crazy. tell me, tell me, <laughs> no, no, this is crazy. crazy. So you sent in a CD? Well, shit, not even me. The people I was with, like you, you, you know, obviously I was working to becoming an artist right. and wanted to do it, but uh, I was I was just. I was under a conglomerate. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like you got a Murder Inc. and you got Gene or whatever, how right. you got a gang of artists. Right. I was in that conglomerate. I just was the only kid that sang. Right. So I think they only had one or two demos from me. Right. You know, and then wow. from there it was everybody else was, girl, it was either girl groups, rappers, and different stuff. So just So you're saying this C D was delivered to, to whoever it well, was the delivered music, to. And then yeah. I put on that CD. 13 we, other artists. We sent it to Def Jam. Like we sent it to Jeff Jam. And Tina was at Def Jam and she heard it. 13 other artists on this shit. Yeah. And she picked you? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Let's yeah, make some noise of, for yeah, that. For yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the name of the song that, that she picked? Yeah. And, and I want to take a shot because uh, this, oh, course, this, is, this is great. Come on. Uh, which which called, shot do you want? It's called, oh, shit. It's going to be funny as hell. I'll be cringing when I watch this damn video because my, my fans be sending it to me. It's called Whose Girl Is That? Right? I'm like 13 in the video. But it's like my. And you like, bagging niggas' girls at thirteen? Yeah, I was bad at thirteen. I, was, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go, CB. Come on. I was, little, I was, I was, I was a trouble at thirteen. Cheers, I, I'm cheers, not gonna cheers. lie. I did not think you was gonna be drinking brown. You drinking brown? Oh, my last name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot that. <laughs> that passion is great. Yeah. You see, you've been missing out. I, I forgot. <laughs> We're still on commercial. <laughs> so, so, okay. So how does this happen? Tina Davis hears the, the record and yeah. she calls your management. She calls because you are thirteen at the time. I imagine it's probably yeah. your parents is involved. Yeah, no, nah, my mom and it was in Virginia. Okay, you, you know, and so uh, but I was with my production team at the time. So like back and forth, they I was you know what I'm saying they were like big brothers to me. So right, I, I, mean, I was comfortable around them. So I wasn't like nervous going into offices and you know being everybody like, love what's up. I want to do this and at at eleven at twelve, and then uh, the funniest part. Like, I don't, a lot of people don't know this. Diddy turned me down. 
I was twelve years old. He's like, man, let's, 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 let's talk about him you right know, now. But no, but but it's love now. This is like my family, my brother. Now. But let's get to the point. But it was a blessing. You went to see him. Yeah. You. Was yeah. you dancing? So basically, it came as a package <laughs> deal. Because <laughs> if you danced, you could, he definitely would have signed you. No, nah, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100. So I was like 12 at this time. This was before I uh, didn't, uh, when I linked to uh, Def Jam shit. Okay. But it was me and his uh, one of my production uh, manager's son named TJ. He's my brother to this day. Uh, but me and him were like a group. You know what I'm saying? So he what was, was the name of y'all group? Man, if we didn't have no name, we just was. This is why he ain't signed y'all. You gotta get that far. It was, you know I mean? we just. Yeah, how y'all should together, Chris? It was, it was early for us, so we like, whatever. So I thought we, I think we thought the talent would speak for us. Yeah. The talent would make the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, cool, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so when we get in there, uh huh. Uh, we, we do two songs, and this is a song where I'm just on the chorus parts, and then it's one song that I sing like the bridge. And and back then, my voice at that, I was like high pitched, Michael Jackson tone. Like I could, when he was a kid, like I could really sing, sing, sing. Jackson, right five Jackson. Okay. Yeah, so. Right, are you, you flossing right now? We like that. Back then, shit, okay. the, it's not like that now. I can still <laughs> sing. I can still yeah. sing, but not Good. like, yeah. But Good. we get into the office, so we do the performance. Like, we nervous, but we just do the shit. Boom, all right. He said, yeah. I like this cool. I don't like this light skinned nigga over here. This little nigga over here. Fuck down. I ain't I don't. Mm. I said. <laughs> that's just <laughs> melted in that goddamn office at two. I said, look, I mean, you fucked up. And you're 12 years old. <laughs> yeah. But So, uh, look, I gotta ask. Yeah. Your partner was dark skinned? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you got this. I got to ask. Yeah, my brother was dark skin. All right, because he could have said this is like the new salt and pepper and it's not working out. <laughs> hey, man, so, hell no. Nah. What the fuck? I'm oh, sorry, what the fuck? But I'm going to be real. Uh -huh. By him doing that, it motivated, motiv no, it, it motivated, motivated me to be more secure in myself. Like to be like, you know what? Don't try to just do you. You feel me? And so at 12, you mad about it. Like, no, but... I thank him for that now. Like, I don't... Nah, it's that's like, real. You feel... You, you know what I'm saying? You that's real. Man, thank you. Oh, real shit right there. I need to learn... I need to learn that it ain't all yeses. Right. That's, that's real, real shit right there. Like, I wouldn't forget that nigga. I'm gonna be honest. It's real shit. I would've been still mad at the nigga. Nah, right now. Nah, 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 I'm, I'm a foul nigga, Chris. Nah, see, we didn't... <laughs> Make sure you always reach in the crowd, nigga. I'm not going to be Don't make a noise if you're in the crowd, nigga. I'm taking another shot, Chris. I'm taking another shot. Chris, you ain't taking another shot, Chris. I got you. I ain't. Oh. See, my tolerance is a little high. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, you going to do the same. This is what you want. All right, uh -huh. you want this. He, uh -huh. He's sticking with that. This is my third. I'm killing him and shit. We got Mama Juan. Salud. 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 Now, how, how, as we drink and do say, Salud. How is your relationship with Jay-Z? Uh, I don't really have one. I never mean, had? I mean, every time I've been around him and sat around him, it's always been cool. It's never been like any hate. I'd be like, oh, what's up, bro? You good? Boom. Okay. And just keep it keep it moving. I, don't, I really just don't have a, I don't I don't have a, uh, what is it? Like a path that where me and him cross. Where it crosses, right? Okay. Or where we like, hey, we doing this, so we got, right. but it's no it's no issue. It's just like, right. oh, what's up, bro? That's a beautiful thing. You feel me? I thought all of y'all get together at light skin class. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I, I, nah, they kicked me out of that class. They kicked you out of the class? Nah, the karate I got, I got, class? I, I feel like y'all all go to karate. My soul dark skin. They're like, you gotta get up out of here. Oh, they kicked you out of that? Yeah. Because they, they kicked me out of brown skin class. They say I'm too crazy, man. <laughs> okay. Well, let's make some little Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but do you realize you the GOAT? You, you, you are GOAT? Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, on time. That's Look, tight. Leanne, you embarrassing us right now, girl. <laughs> no, that's tight. She didn't pop that at all the correct way. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's like, Gemini season. Let him know. It's Gemini season. Happy birthday, let girl. Know, let him know. Happy birthday. But, but, because, I mean, looking from the beginning mm -hmm. and looking to now, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, man. I really, um, I know I'm standing in front of the goat right now. I gotta keep my hum my humble like modesty but because I'm, I'm not gonna be humble for you. I you can be like, humble, but yeah. let me let me floss for you. All right, for sure. You the cup. <laughs> Ain't nobody can fuck with you right now. <laughs> Thank you. Man. If anybody does a record with Chris Brown, they go through the roof. Do you man. realize that? Yeah, but they records be hard. <laughs> Nah, I, I think just, it's you, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be like, you know, uh, able to do it. You know, I'm happy that people want to actually have consistency or whatever I'm hearing in my head ain't 
freaking lame. Like, mm. if, you know, it's everybody's personal opinion to, to fuck with me or not fuck with me. But the response has been like amazing. So I don't really, comp I don't got no complaints. I'm still in amazement. I, I know where I'm at. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm in uh, just an abundance of accepting who I am or just appreciative of it. You but humble. It, you it, being it, humble. Yeah, but no, nah, but it doesn't go unnoticed. Like, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I have sleepless nights is because I'm trying to figure out how to make this shit matter for people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So that's that's all it is. Yo, but it's dope to feel that. We got to give them his roses right now. Yes, definitely. Let's go. Well, let's, where, where's the, where the flowers right at, here. baby? Man, Chris, sure, we want roses. you to know... That you are the goat. Yeah. Oh, this whole. And we giving you your motherfucking flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna hang this up. Uh, Snoop Dogg told us this is better than getting the Grammy because it's from his peers. Yes. Facts. And we real niggas. Yeah. And Chris, just in case you don't know, we love you. Thank you, bro. We respect you, and we know who you are out here, right. and yeah. you that nigga, nigga. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I'm sorry. Real shit, not that. Y'all supposed to clap as soon as I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That niggas is mad late over there. Yeah, so, yeah. Let's get let's get our light together. We yeah. got punch in the building. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. Let me let me ask you a question, right? Yeah. Moving to LA. Yeah. Is it a is it is it a culture a, shock? Co yes, thank you. We've been hanging out too much. Um. <laughs> no, I think you just gotta just. I don't want to sound cliche, but you gotta just stay dangerous. Like, mm. I feel like out here, it's 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 very very uh, influential. It's very. I've been out here since I was fifteen. Like, you know, wow. so I saw back. You practically forth. raised out here. Yeah. So, the politics that come with certain shit, like I understand, but at the same time, it's like you 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 get a long way by having respect or and, and respecting where you at. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying. So, mm. I feel like I've been out here. This is like a home to me on the West Coast. So. You know, I might have crib best friends, blood best friends. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't draw the line, or I don't, I don't. I'm not out here in the extortion uh, conversations like you need to awful. kick in. It's none of that. Uh, uh, nah, but you feel me? I think LA is just in itself. You just got to stay on your toes anywhere you, anywhere you at. People are hungry. That's the big thing about shit, LA. So you gotta, you gotta understand where they coming from. Like the I understand the hunger part, but I don't understand the senseless, stupid shit. The big thing about LA is when you come out here, um, you 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 fall into hood politics. Yeah. Oh, uh, you don't have to. You stay the fuck away from right. that shit. <laughs> That's real. Wow. And like, and then if you want to play with that, just know yeah. what it is. And then at the end of the day, don't complain when that becomes the problem. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Could, could we see Soldier Boy out there? He 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 put his shit up. It didn't work out for him. I I, I even look at that situation as like some funny kitty shit that niggas was going through. And he was like and, claiming the hood, and, and honestly, it just made that it made the hood look bad. Just, just, just even doing some weird old corny ass shit. He won't that was some real light skin corny shit to be doing. So like, did you say that's some real light skin shit? Facts. Holy that was some real. Shit. That was some real corny <laughs> shit. So, so for me, I was just like, man, all that shit is dead. I ain't anybody tripping off that shit. And then, and then it, it was just, I, you know, soldiers as a character, man. But once you get to know it and know that it's it's really all up, you just be like, all right, but you straight. Okay. Like, you know, so so all that shit. I look back at it now like, damn, I was really finna fire blood shit up. Nah, it ain't, it ain't even worth it. That shit's stupid now. So, but it's cool. Everything all good, you know. Would you like some Ace of Spade? Nah, I'm cool. You cool? Uh, you you gonna stick with the deuce? I got to, yeah, you trying to have me throw it. You got his drink, oh, drink, drink. I ain't gonna lie to you. You wanna drink caps right now. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. We Damn, different God. niggas, y'all. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna oh. look all flustered and yeah. pass out in the corner and shit. Just keep it recording until I wake up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but but, 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 but let, let me ask you, because right now, and I think you got records for both of them, mm -hmm. Young Thug and Gunna. Yeah. Caught in the worst situation I've ever seen in hip hop. Facts. Freedom. They're Freedom my actually brothers. basically on a text message saying word. That's all they saying. They're like it's it's one dude saying, "Yo, yo, do this," and one dude is saying word. Man, what, just, what, what do you feel about that? I mean, I, I can't speak on my brothers in them case and, and right. what they going on. I can only be who I always been. They brother. You right. know, I'm a rock with them for life. It's us. It's us. Never them. Right. So. That's how. That's what I'm standing on. That's how I rock it. That's, that's how. Shit, I I'm trying my. I'm trying my hardest. Just like you know, they these family. I don't look at it like, oh damn, some entertainers in the way. Like mm. when the pandemic, when shit was real, and niggas was out here starving, doing different shit. Niggas, they did. They was with my real family. They was like every day, 
We, we made that, that mixtape and that whole album just off a of vibe. It won't off of, let's see how the world gonna react. We just say, look, we, we really fuck with each other. We all, we all family. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody speaks the same lingo. We understand it. It's just, you gotta think. The top of the food chain, that's what we, that's what we, they looking at with us. You know? I've been shut the fuck up about shit. They, they try to get me early, so I'm cool, man. Fuck them. <laughs> that's free right. my boys. That's right. Free, 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 free rides out. But yeah, that's that's some real shit. Yeah, that's some real shit. That's some real shit. So, I was watching Takers the other night. <laughs> Why y'all niggas laughing? Uh, shit, that's it. That's I, I, I cringe at watching shit like that now. You what? I, I mean, the scenes is dope as fuck. But I'd be like, oh damn, nigga, you look. <laughs> Why you do that? Why you move like that? <laughs> Stop. Like, I don't know. Takers is hard. Yeah. You don't like it? No, I love Takers. Okay. I love Takers. You gonna do more movies? Um, I've been behind the scenes like developing producing? shit producing we're producing but at the same time developing content like actual visual stuff like anime and different uh, different series of things I'm trying to do y'all don't see it I just I just hate spilling what's, what's, what, what's a possibility a strong right. and not a fact you mm. know what I'm saying but this is the stuff I'm working towards like the acting stuff is, is something that I want to do you know mm. but I, I feel like while I had the time to while I'm shooting visuals I can showcase that ability as well. Like with my videos, I, a lot of people don't know I'm in the editing room. I'm the one we coming up with it. If I do allow somebody's uh, idea to be the narrative, I'm still hands on with them to show them how to make it move visually. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the stuff that I do do and then I show people, they like, okay, oh, that's dope. But you don't realize that I really did it myself. So that I'm, I'm always gonna be on that type of time. Who your favorite director? My favorite directors right now? Man, or favorite uh, person to work with for you? I mean, Stanley Kubrick, obviously, but mm. uh, Steven Spielberg, you know. Uh, Come on. Yeah, real Antoine, this, uh, this nigga uh, said Fuqua. Steven Spielberg? Fuqua. Yeah, Fuqua. Do you say Antoine Fuqua? Yeah. M my bad. You you are definitely not on my level. You on a Cinematic shit. Pitch. I'm thinking this nigga going to say Little X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh, you talk about movies or, or big music videos? I love that even better. That <laughs> I love it. I love uh, that you didn't James understand Cameron, the question. I love yeah, it. James it's Cameron, fucking fantastic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah it's not so, like. Did you say James Cameron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I like I like their their bodies of work. I like with how they shoot. And there's a lot of new directors too. Um, it's the Asian cat from New, uh, new Zealand who did like. Um, oh, I know who you're talking about. Uh, damn, I'm sorry. I, I forget your name, bro. But your shit is tight. He got long hair. No, the Asian no, cat. No. I think it's his short. No. That was like racist a little bit. Yeah, and you look at Butch Rock. Foul. I, I kind of did. You know Butch Rock. Let's, that's my DJ. You know Butch Rock's ready. Yo, you say he wants to battle you, dancing. He, he's <laughs> say he right, but his name is Butch Rock. That means a b-boy. <laughs> Listen, he, but let me just tell you something. Yeah. We go on tour every night. He has rice in his room. It's very racist. <laughs> it's very but racist. Butch, you gotta show some of your moves. <laughs> show some of your moves. It's very. Here's a cross. You gotta show some of your moves. He said he wanted to show his moves. No, listen. You can't be shy right now. Who could beat? Who 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 could battle Chris Brown in the dance battle? You know what's crazy? I, I gotta I gotta. He's right here. He's right here. Okay, I hear that. But the the craziest part is, like, because I guess I'm on a platform and, and I actually dance freely. That you know what I'm saying? It kind of takes away and kind of puts me in that. Oh, he's the best. Mm. When reality, like, they have dance competitions every week. They have, I watch all of them. Man, there's some talented motherfuckers in the world, bro. I'm talking about Cole. And I'm like, ooh. So I want, I at least want to showcase that. But I can still get down. Um, as far as what I do, as far as if you say, okay, get out there and sing for two hours, flip dance and yeah. do all yeah, your songs, and then go thing. to the club after that, right. and then go do the same thing. Oh, ain't nobody doing that. Yeah, it's not one. No, but Omari, yeah, I love, I love is cold. I love Omar, when you floss. Omari on is cold. Like, so he can do that. But you saying he can, yeah, he's he okay? No, no, he's great. His style is different. I'll be real. Icebox back in the day, touch up with a flame me. Where you, my heart used to be. Yeah, that was the coldest. <laughs> that nigga was yeah. That nigga was what? <laughs> he was yeah, hey, that boy was bad. Don't play with him. Ew, ew, right that time. Yeah, yeah. It's but, different now. But not. But, still a. Cause you be doing the kid and play shit. I seen you. Right? <laughs> I seen you. You've been Shout out to kid and play. Of, Facts. You been watching a lot of dance videos lately. Yeah, yeah. Because you want that smoke. But shit, I'm with all the smoke. I like the fact that the people dancing again. Like, you know how fucking frustrating it is going to a club? And, and these niggas, niggas want to stand around. 
be gangsters. Fuck these. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I used, I to, these I used to go to spots and my whole outfit is sweaty. Like, everything done. Mm-hmm. So Cause I'm you, like, Cause you like that. Who I had so much fun? Like, when the fuck did that foot in? Yeah, shit. And even, so now, even when it kind of dancing on girls, like, yeah. like, bro, I, I, I don't know if my era just different. Like, as right. soon as they start shaking, you supposed to get up. What's happening? Right. Yeah. Like, uh huh. Girl will be shaking her ass in the club and dude will be like this. Man, I ain't worried about these hoes. Right. Man, what? I don't like that. Ain't him. we here because we wanted to see them? That's right. Man, get your stupid ass to That's right. Get him the fuck out of the club. Get him the fuck out of the club. Just that. Holy yeah. moly, fuck him only. Uh, are we taking another shot? Don't be mm. doing like that. Chris Let's ain't go, no sucker. Yeah, look, Chris told us off top. He ain't no sucker. Yeah, Chris, you want another shot? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I don't you know what count. I'm drinking. And I'm disappointed in you, Butch. You said he was going to dance. Nah, 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 nah. I think you Oh uh, yeah, it's like no. Nah, listen, he, listen. He, he we went on tour every shit. night, and my Filipino, he was racist. My Filipino, <laughs> that's he lived happen. out. He lived out the Filipino racistness, <laughs> and he had rice every night in his room. But <laughs> dry, like cooked rice and dry rice. Nah, he had a crock pot. Don't smoke, smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. So he said, "My shit smell like rice." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you took your shot already? You, you, you fat. I'm Come fat. On, you know what? Huh. My bad. So what the fuck is next for Chris Brown? What the, what what else can you do? Man, like you said, the film side. I'm trying to do that. But as, as well, like, I want to create shit. I want, the, I want the generational wealth to be able to, like, speak for itself, but in a good way. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's so many places. I'll be driving certain places. I'm like, how the hell is, the, is they making so much money right here? And then it's... All these tents lined mm-hmm. up right here, and you can't afford. So shit like that don't sit well with me when I'm driving, buying shit a car that, and I don't give a fuck about crack the, the dent on it or do, get a scratch, and that car worth half a million dollars. Right. So just the, the the necessity part for me, like I don't want to like get so far gone to where I don't I don't have empathy for what the real shit going on. Like you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, navigate this music part that's influential without me having to have a fucking uh, candidate speech or me trying to be elected for some bullshit didn't really just help people out. Man. Like, it's not that hard to help people out. Like, right. all these rich ass motherfuckers, I'm talking about, they richer than I, I'll never see that type of money. I and they, the they're wiping their ass with it. Man, mm-hmm. just help this help this little block out right here. Help that right there. It ain't gonna kill you, stupid. Right. You feel me? But I can't spend all my money to do it because then I'm gonna be broke out here with them. <laughs> no, no, you, you, know, you gotta be a collective. Chris, yeah. let me just tell you something. You're not gonna be broke, sir. Yeah, I'm just saying, but <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, the, it's just the effort, I guess. The, the tenacity, the same mm-hmm. the same feeling that you feel if it, if, it, if it fucks with you or don't fuck with you. If you don't fuck with you, you're a piece of shit. All right. <laughs> so let me ask you. What is what is what is what do you prefer more? Making the music or performing the music? Because me listening to your playlist. I couldn't. I couldn't come up with the answer. Every, every time I, I interview somebody, mm-hmm. I think about this. Yeah. And with you particular, I can't answer it. Um, because your your music is just as good as the when, when I hear your records. I think you're performing already. Yeah. Mm. I think that's a good ass question. Um, I'm good. Yeah, that was a great. I do, ass I do, I, I'm doing a good job. Yes. All right. Let's make some noise. At some point, you gotta give it up. No, nah, okay. I'm sorry. I think I think um, both of those processes, like they go hand in hand. I don't mm. think I can love more than the other because I, um, I receive different energy from both. Like you get what I'm saying. If I'm in a studio and I, and I can feel the vibe and the mode I'm in, I can't mm. wait for people to hear it. Whether I'm, whether I go to, whether I go to a club or whether I'm on stage, mm-hmm. be like, okay, they like it. They like it as much as I thought I liked it. Yeah. You know, mm. so. I think it goes hand in hand. I think I think I get the energy from the crowd, and and I always been able to kind of like navigate that and like play it by ear. Like I might tease the song, and be like, mm, we ain't fucking with that, or they're like, oh, drop that, got you. And then I drop. But once you get that energy, it's intoxicating. Well, let's yeah. talk about this new album. Yeah, man. What's the name of this new album? First Breezy. Time? It's my tenth album, man. This is. Damn. Congratulations on you, OG. OG, right? You now. OG, right? You OG, right? Yo, you OG now. Yeah, but it's called and you ain't Breezy. got no gray hair though. That's good. I'm glad. I ain't shit, got nothing either. Right hey, relax. Right. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> so, it goes with the aesthetic. It looks like you dotted that color. That's what I did. Dave Spell called him Santa Claus. Oh, for Let's sure. Just be clear. The Latin Santa Claus. Latin, Latin, Latin Santa Claus. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, 10th album. Yeah. Rich as fuck. <laughs> Why the fuck are you still making music? Why aren't you... 
like playing art and just in Malibu. I don't know. I, with I don't no think, shorts on. Where's the inspiration coming from? <laughs> I, well, that that's my inspiration. I guess I just uh, never lost that hunger. Like you, not 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 hunger for money. Like not. Hung, I don't care about. The financial aspect, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a great plus for me to take care of my kids, take care of my family. Right. But me getting up, I'm like, ooh, this song made me feel like this. Like, or oh, oh, I feel like this about this song. And I see the impact that it has on certain fans. Like, it doesn't have to be the mainstream fans. It can be the, those core people that show up. That the Louisiana down. Fried Chicken. There too. Okay. And, they, and at my concert, they'd be like, you know what? Could you read this note real fast? Or they'll show me something like, I used to cut myself. Mm. And they'll show me 13 lashes and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Your music helped me get through this. So the perspective Damn, on why deep. I started right. doing the music kind of changed when I seen like, yo, it's real, real motherfuckers that I might have just overlooked because the song was where it was at. Yeah. But it really moved and touched lives, somebody. Right. So I, I, I'd rather just take this, like whether they call it uh, alien power or whatever the fuck it is, I'm not going to use it for the bad. Like, I don't... Yeah, I'm taking I don't a shot to that. Yeah, I want to keep going. I'm taking a shot, Chris. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you, you're making me emotional. <laughs> you killed that. That was that was the probably one of the best answers ever. Nah, drink, really all right, salud. 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 Jesus. You don't, don't drink what he's drinking. <laughs> I'm just keeping it honey with you. But how long did it take you to find that place? Like, did it take you a while to, to yeah, see I the power of the music? Way. I had to get out of my way. I think early 20s, I was just like, oh, this shit fun. Then I went to jail. And then like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit Wait, just was real. Jail was fun? You didn't say that. No, no, no. Oh, I said early okay. on. It was okay. Before then, jail then was I fun. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <Right, right. laughs> no jail was fun. Your jail was not fun, sir. But yes. okay. I really kind of like started like listening to my perspective when people were showing up to my shows with like, you know, no promotion, no this. Just sold out here. Or we doing this. And then my children. So I'm like, damn, I really got to be the person I know I am instead of trying to run or be somebody I'm not like. Try to overcompensate for my hurt or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I just was like, you know what? It gotta be bigger than me when it comes to I can easily go in the studio and be like, girl, take your pants off, take your shirt off, hey, let's have some. Let's that, talk about it, Chris Brown. But sometimes you need bigger records or a substance songs because you'll never know who it impacts, you know? You think you took it for granted before that? Hell yeah. For sure. Damn, really? Yeah, everybody do. Right, right. Everybody do. Every, yeah. Everybody yeah. has a, is gonna have some sort of a chip on their shoulder. It's just, I just, I think I kind of like caught on to it early before it was like me saying, okay, I'm done in my career, y'all. So I want to tell y'all how good right. of a person I can be. Right. No, I'm, I'm like, nah, shit. Do it while you hot. Be be what you're here for. Yeah. So let, let, let's let's talk about Tina Davis for a second. Facts. Because um, that's how I met you, right? Yeah. Um, Tina Davis, I was on Def Jam at the time. Yeah. And... I, I don't remember what the discrepancy was from your studio, but we sw swapped studios. I, I believe you may run it that night. I'm not sure, but I, I claim that story just so you know. Facts, you got it. I'll be, I'll be talking about, about it. But it's, fa it's factual. Though. It's <laughs> you, were the, you were the first artist on. You were the first artist on. I just did have a feature. But listen, yeah. so, so what is your relationship now to this day? Because I, I, we just established that you got the CD. The deal, the yeah. CD. What is your relationship now? We're cool. Thing? Like I, yeah. I like um as far as like business and working, right. we don't we don't work. I know she has a a, a job at, at another label doing mm -hmm. her thing. Mm -hmm. So, but it's always love. I, I see her out at different like restaurants. We always speak. It's no right. it's no ill will. It's always love. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? So I never could. I owe a lot to that woman. So that's beautiful. I could, I could never like you feel me. I would yeah. never be on no ill hearted shit or no. Nah, we just yeah. doing different things in our in our careers. We're still love her the same. So. We could make some noise for that? For sure, yeah. yeah. Right. God damn it, I'm gonna take another shot, Chris. I'm sorry. Let's get I'm an alcoholic. We gotta do quick time. Do we got quick time? Yes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you sent it? Okay. Damn, where's my phone? Oh, I'm, 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 just, I'm, just, I'm just so happy I'm there. We in Chris Brown house. I ain't mm -hmm. even looking at him. I ain't even doing my job good. All right, Chris. All right, you ready? Yeah, we good. We good. We good. This is a, this is a part of the segment that we do with every artist. Uh huh. And it's it's either or. Uh huh. You you take a shot, correct? Right. If the politically correct the politically answer, answer yeah, is a oh, shot. So I gotta just I, I gotta answer. You this gotta like pick one or the other. Yeah. I gotta just. You might get in trouble, Chris. This is how it's happening. If you say both or neither is a shot, but we drinking with you. Yeah, right, we drinking sure. with you though. We ain't keeping you by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I get fucked up too. I ain't gonna lie. This first one you gonna drink. 
<laughs> let, me, let me pour up. Pour up. Get your, get your shot ready. Just I got my shot ready. Let's get it. Listen, listen. Right. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> the game or 50 Cent? <laughs> shot! You know, so if I can't answer it, it's a shot. It's a shot, yeah. yeah. If you say both or neither, it's a shot. <laughs> Yo, oh, great! Hey, so by the way, Chris. They, by like, the way, Chris, I'm taking a shot too. Oh Cause I, 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 by the way, I wish Game and Fifty get Dude, together. Man, it'd be bro. But I Yo, understand. I, look, Fifty, my homie. You feel me? Fifty, my Yo, homie. Yo, can we have some game, East Coast, West Coast like, talk like, right now? I'm gonna just yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. That might have been the worst disconnect that we ever had. Yeah, them niggas would have been. Because if Titans. they were together, 50 and game, yeah, that would have been I crazy. really, and for I'm a second sorry, I don't want to some of y'all niggas looking at me crazy right now. Nah. But I promise you that I, I, I wanted to see that. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's me. I'm nah, sorry, Chris. Fact, nah, shoot, it's, it's probably But you shit. ready? You go, damn. Oh, you got another shot, right? I, yeah, I had to get yeah, ready. You gotta get ready, man. You too. Wow. Nigga said, I said, I said, is Chris Brown drinking? They said, I'm gonna say the next one. Maybe not. Ready? Shit. They were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop or Jay Z? I'm, I'm gonna go ahead yeah. and get my shot ready. Too. All right, nah, I'm gonna go with Unk. Snoop. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Damn. What the fuck happened? No disrespect to blood. I'm just, you know. Snoop, uh, what's up, uh? Yeah, uh, uh. But you, you see, I did wear red. Nah, I, I was trying. Him, I was trying saying? to comply. <laughs> <laughs> to comply? <laughs> no, I love my job. I said, people Okay, <laughs> next, next one, Ian. Man, go to the third one. Uh, Trey songs, Jeremiah. Pup. Take a shot. Nah, I'm gonna go Trey because that's my brother. He from VA, so I gotta Ain't go. Ain't Jeremiah Trey. from VA too? Hell no, nah. she's Jeremiah from Chicago, I think. Oh, that's right. He's from Chicago. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's I right. fuck with Jeremiah though. Love yeah, you, bro. Yeah. Trey, Trey, my my brother though. Oh, damn! I want to take a shot, but fuck, we can't. Go ahead, next one. Big L or Big Pun? Ooh, I'm taking a shot. Let's go. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 you ain't bro. I'm not even Hold on, Hold on, bloody. Because I'm a dad. Like, you ain't even born when them niggas was popping, so you can't even say. Nah, for sure, them they hard big ass ant man. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a shot. Chris Brown, I'll be doing this show for six years. I've never seen a nigga take a shot like that. Like what? I don't know what you just did. What did you do? He started dancing. dancing? Drunk that shit fast here. You drunk it like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I fuck with you. I fuck with the next one. Yeah, man. You you got quick time slide this time. Nah, you gotta do a couple. Nah. Podcast or radio. You had Big Boy here the other day. We we understand. <laughs> but it was not this fun. I'm gonna be honest. Man, really you influencing the answer, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. No, I'm just thinking about what a podcast is different from. I, lo radio. I love the fact this nigga grabbing a shot. He he, he didn't even decide. So for both? Yeah, I'm not he grabbed it. Y'all ain't gonna be like, oh, you don't like radio? Now? Yeah. You don't like oh, radio? No, no, no. Okay. You need radio. You need. <laughs> Damn, you on number eight, yo. Yo, God. I ain't you about to go through this whole month. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't He's gonna lie. Ahead, and I thank you so much, and I, I can see you in the room. I can feel your presence. And some real nigga. Real nigga. Uh, right. Right. He only fuck with two of y'all. You know that, right? Yeah, Just yeah. you and 50. That's yeah. it. Yo, God. I'm my brother. Do you realize? <laughs> solid Do you realize life. how solid that is? No, child. <laughs> you and 50. Shit, to the wheels fall off for That's sure. That's crazy. Two real niggas. Okay. Yeah, fact. Holy shit. Next one, EFN. Oh, yeah, happy birthday, Ant. Nigga, his birthday just passed, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gemini season, I run. Another shot. Another yeah, shot, yeah. shot for Ant. No, nah, hell no. Nah. You talking to me for the shot. I ain't know if you realize this is my job to do this. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Drake or Wayne? Damn, man. Well, it's, I'm biased, bro. I fuck with Drake. That nigga cold as fuck. One of the main goats right now, but Wayne is ultimate. Yeah, I'm going go with Lil Wayne. All right, but I got to ask y'all, because this this was, I, I used to go to light-skinned nigga meetings. <laughs> <laughs> they never let me in. They was tripping? Yeah, but yeah. when you and Drake caught light-skinned beef. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's funny. In that. New York. Yeah, in yeah. In New York. So we, we all found it out. Yeah. Don't bother. <laughs> Shit. 
One thing I respect about you, you gonna go in if it go in. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. I love combativeness though. That's the thing. Like, I don't I, know I'm what not, that word means, but I love it. Yeah, what did you say? A combativeness. Like, I don't know what I'm it not, means. I'm not saying that I, that I welcome all the smoke, but I don't, really don't have no problem with all the smoke. But like, once the smoke comes to you, yeah, I love it. Yes. Like, it ain't, it ain't, and I ain't even trying to be tough. None of that. It be the, the most of the time. Forgive me for saying this, but the niggas that I end up knocking out. Or beating up, you say you it hurt worse. Out? It hurt worse because they said beating up. You like damn, I got beat up by a single ass nigga. You got beat up by a single nigga. <laughs> so, so that that be even worse. I'm like, man, man, you don't even want to do this. I already know what's gonna happen. Nigga, nigga probably for to be hurt. But I've never been this baffled in my life. <laughs> no, nah, but shit, you got to man. Shit, so I'm, you you man. you running down on niggas, CB? Nah, I'm a, I'm a little bit more. Uh, Cunning about mine, and at the same time, just like you know what, I'm a chill. I don't even welcome. I don't really have no beef and no issue with nobody. Okay, but let's point. describe just, this night. Oh, that night. That night. Man, that was that was that won't even between me and him. To be real, we won't nowhere near each other when it happened. It was just a whole bunch of extra commotion on God. So it was never no like, hey, bro, meet me outside. Like it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> It was never the, in my mind. Yeah, you thought it was a dance off. I thought it was light skin. A dance off. That's <laughs> going on. <laughs> it's West Side Story. Yo, God, like, nah. I thought you walked up to him and said, yo, y'all. Nah, nah, nah. That's how I thought it happened. Mm -mm. I was wrong? Uh, yeah, nah. It was, it was just a misunderstanding on both ends. It won't know. I ain't going gonna, gonna to get into too many details. You, I don't know, you, you, you but, know, it's funny now. Yeah, it's funny as hell yeah. now, but yeah. as far as that, like, I'm going to take a shot for it. Yeah, bro, like, he good, though. He's I love how you keep calling everybody blood. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. So if I listen, please, I don't want to be. It's the like, last one right here. If I don't have to take. It. All right. By the way, no <laughs> one asked you to take that shot. I know. <laughs> I know. We not doing quick time, so we might have to I take know, a so look. It's I'm, I'm ready. Okay, it's there. Okay. I got you. I got you. I'm but ready. but that 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 was the that was the best light skin beef I've ever heard. Man, it was funny. In my it life. was funny. I, I, it was it was funny, and then. When we actually sat and talked about it afterwards, afterwards, it was just like, man, what the fuck was we doing? <laughs> like, bro, that shit was funny as hell, you know. But shit, I'm an R&B nigga. I, you know, don't be gay body by an R&B nigga. No, nah, I'm just, you know, I be, I be in love with, with women and stuff. So my emotions just should be no. I love that you're in love with women. Yeah, yeah. I'm being honest with you. Mm -hmm. Your love for women, yeah, <laughs> is great. <laughs> that got weird. That got a little really fast. <laughs> it got a little awkward. Sorry. It got a little awkward. awkward. I'm sorry. Because you know what? I love your love. Okay, for the I love. Yeah. You know, I love love. <laughs> now listen, let's just be clear. I love love. I love love. I love love. Facts. A lot of y'all niggas ain't getting it. Because a lot of y'all niggas don't love love. Facts. And a lot of y'all haven't been loved. And y'all need to be loved. <coughs> yeah, I'm I here with my wife. I coach. love my life. This shit sounds perfect. Yeah. It's the love of my life, Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. And I love my wife. Facts. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. But I also love light skin beef. <laughs> Facts. I feel you. It's the best. So yeah, yeah but how did y'all squash it? How? What was? What was it? Y'all went. I think just some years went past. Like, is this Malibu involved? I don't know why Malibu <laughs> no, was involved. Not at all. He actually had a show um, out here. But oh, he brought you out. Yeah, he brought me out to the show. But before they like, a lot of us have mutual friends. So you know, hey, bro, they want to swatch, they want to talk. Hey, bro, I ain't really tripping like that. So then right. when I got on the phone, like, it was cool. Then I came out and did the show, and it was straight. Like my thing is like, I don't have to be engulfed in that nigga world or anybody's world. Like, and accept them who for who they is. Like whatever beef it, if it's not impacting me directly, like that shit ain't hit. Like I don't care. Like, right. I, like I don't even want to be for nobody. Like, right. You feel me? So I just looked at it as a, all right, cool. Well, shit, I'm glad we got past it because it was a time I wanted to kill your ass. <laughs> but well, I'm you glad kept we the got moving. past it. You know? Damn, don't don't lie, lie to me. That shot is foul, bro. <laughs> that nigga said it's a time I wanted to kill your ass. I did not know you were going to say that. <laughs> but it's just facts. Where's but if now, Swiss that's, that's Beats time. and Timberland call you tomorrow. Facts, I'm there. Damn, I ain't even tell you your opponent yet. Come on. Oh, I'm just letting you know I'm never do. <laughs> you just said the heavy hitters fast. So I was like, all right, cool. If they say, we got Drizzy Drake in Canada <laughs> ready to go one on one with CB. Talking about verses? Yeah, he talking about verses. I mean, you know what? 
That would be a, a, form, a formidable champ, uh, champ to. That would be great. Uh, like I wouldn't, but you got to think when, when we go back to his genres. You know the consensus was nah, they don't do the same music. Like you know, what you mean? How do you feel the same music? Because you got to understand, I sing Can on ninety five percent of my stuff, right? And you might hear a, a scratch of a s- scribble of rap from me every now and then. You don't hear it as like, oh yeah, he his single coming out, he rapping the whole time. You feel me? So it's two different genres. I even looked at some of the comments of what they would think about that. I mean, I ain't ducking oh, so no you, smoke, you, but at the same time, wait a minute, wait a I, minute. I know he's wait a formidable wait. opponent. I know he that nigga got hits. They got wait hits. a minute, just like just so like you've, I got been, hits. you've been contemplating this? No, it ain't just something I dwell on. I don't know. I don't know what the, that word is. What? <laughs> it's not something I dwell on. Like a thing about dwell on. But nah. but but that's that. Like, listen, because as a person that try to be in a light skin mafia. Yeah. And they never let me say in. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound like you did a, an application and everything. I put out an application. They, they never felt. <laughs> I'm in the brown skin nigga. They, they say, you brown skin nigga, that's it. I, I can't get to the dark skin nigga shit neither. Yeah. Oh my God. I tried to be in the dark skin nigga shit. Acorn and them denied me. They said no. <laughs> denied me. It's the so I'm in the middle. I'm, in the, I'm Puerto Rican and black and that's it. Yeah. And the light skin mafia karate means that y'all go to. The karate meetings. Karate meetings. <laughs> Y'all know they got, got karate, karate meetings. Yeah, it's, it's the self defense class. It's they, self defense. They couldn't do jujitsu. <laughs> That's the best battle I could ever think of. Nah, it would be dope. You and Dre. I ain't ducking no smoke with that, but at the same time, you know, it'll be dope. He got he got a catalog. I got a catalog. But, Did you hear his new album that just dropped? Yeah. He married twenty four bitches in one day. Word. That's that's hard. I mean. <laughs> I like. I really like the song with him and Twenty One Savage. That shit is that's what, yeah, fire. Yeah. Is that the yeah. video? He married Twenty Four Bitches. I don't think so. The nigga married Twenty Four Bitches. I couldn't believe it. That's crazy. So, I looked and I said, I'm not sure this is good or bad. You know, I mean, let him live his life. It's just a video. Bro. Relax. Let him do his thing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he got it. Go ahead. <laughs> This nigga Chris Brown is crazy. Yeah. That's what no, you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you see a racist rapture. Nah, it's a racist thing. It's okay. bad shit. Hey, go up. Turn up. It's shit fire. Do you believe in marriage? Yeah, I, I understand what marriage is. <laughs> Chris, this is the only time I'm not with you. <laughs> that was not a good answer, Chris. <laughs> I've been with you this whole time since you were 16 years old, 14 years old. But what the fuck did you just say? No, I understand it. I understand what marriage is. So he wants you to believe in it. Nah, and I. So you just want a finger pop for you the rest of your life? Nah, I just just look at it like uh, being in love is a lot. I feel like you. I feel like I I witnessed you in love. Yeah. I feel like I witnessed you in love. Yeah, I kind of like. I'm at, a, I'm at like a place in my life now that I'm like, look, my kids, so I got to make sure they happy. One, focus on them. And That's then, the most thing. number two, like, shit, I'm all shy, so I ain't got to you, dwell on it right now. I ain't got to be like, hey, this has to happen. I'm outside. <laughs> I'm with you, my nigga. <laughs> That's a man, I got to just ride with you. Facts, facts. But what? shit, yeah. But as the a in love, like that. nigga? No, the album is, don't get me wrong. Like, okay. I don't underestimate what love is. I just, you know. You still looking I'm for still love? Like I'm a student right now. That's all I can say. I'm being a student. Trying student to learn. of yeah. love? Yeah. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Is, that, is that our song together? Student of love? That might be Together? Hard. Y'all no. doing that song? I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't even rap no more. Yeah, like you, you trying to sing and shit? I got you, bro. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna you make want it. me to sing? And you got to dance, too. I you got to dance. But, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you got to sing and dance. You got to dance. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to fuck this all up. <laughs> nah, but, but yo, 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 CB, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. When my man Ant hit me up and said, Yo, I think I could deliver this. We were so happy, and we are still so happy. Man, I appreciate We want to give you your flowers to your face. Thank you, man. We want to tell you how much we appreciate you to your face. Thank you, bro. I don't want... Fuck this bullshit. Yeah. We at Drink Champs, we love you. I love y'all, man. Real we, shit. I appreciate that. We respect you, and we honor Real you. Story. And guess what? We're going to keep it going. 
and we're gonna take more shots too. Let's be clear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but Chris I'll Brown, to that though. Chris Brown, that. let me tell you, tell you, you could be at Oprah, you could have Oprah right here at your house, <laughs> but you pick the Yallas. Yeah, for sure. You know what the y'all is going to do? Yeah. We're going to have more fun with you, motherfucker. Hey. But don't you ever not know that we appreciate you. Love y'all, man. Real shit. Thank you, man. Real shit. I appreciate that. Thank you, CB. And yes, CB, I don't know what the, that, God I don't know what kind of passion I'm drinking. This, is, but this is crazy. That shit making you passionate, motherfucker. I'm passionate. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That shit works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fall in love, and, uh, and you, what you, so you don't love. <laughs> That's it. So. Thanks. We talked about diversity. We talked about everybody. <laughs> we, we, we talked even about Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. yeah. But go You're back to Mike. No, let's go back to Michael a little bit. Because I want to know, do you ever go back and like, watch his stuff? Yeah. like do you, Of course. Do you use that as, my daughter as a template? It. Yeah, that's like, the, my daughter loves all this stuff too. So like, we'll just be watching it. I always that must back. be dope to like introduce yeah, the kids Yeah, and sometimes if I, like, if I run out of inspiration, like sometimes... My everyday life might be convoluted with other shit that's going on. So the creative side might be blocked for maybe like, damn, what's going on? So I'll just go back to that or certain videos that I've seen as a child, like this, just to reignite the spark again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. a lot of the times I use that as a, a good template, especially with like transitioning with films, like how hard it was for them to do certain moves or right. certain shit. And I, that's, that's what makes me kind of like push it when I start shooting shit like, okay, don't slack up just because... You can just smile and look cool in the camera. Nah, go hard. Like so. Now on the creative side, you're saying that are there anything, any takeaways from everything he went through in his career and his personal life? You don't know Mike Jack. That's yeah, it. I mean, I just feel, I just feel like whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever he was going through in his personal life, like shit. There's people right now that don't agree with me personally or don't like fuck with me or they think I stand for something else. Right now, you get what I'm saying? So. Like I can't, I can't dwell on that. Like, and I, and I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want him to dwell on that. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? This shit will eat you up. You know what I'm saying? Especially this, whatever is a cancel culture, or media. If you're not strong or you ain't coming from a, a struggle background, like you ain't gonna be able to survive the shit. You gonna start looking crazy. Oh, he, he, okay, he tweaking, he doing this. Right. I ain't. I know where I come from, so it's like all that shit is fake anyway. Every, you know what I'm saying? Everything else. Psh. Only thing I got is the product. Mm. I'm going to show you, hey, this is how I do it, and this is what I'm putting up. I'm out. You feel me? Like, So that's all it is with me. It's just about being myself. And I think Mike, he was himself until they, until they drove they, me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my I, brother. I, I, Mike, that's Mike ain't life. do nothing. I ain't going to lie. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm with Mike. Yeah, I'm with Mike. How about OJ? Jesus, <laughs> what, a, what a transition. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was going to Prince. Hey, you went like, to OJ. <laughs> Yo, listen, OJ ain't doing either, Chris. Come on, Rob me. As a black brother, OJ ain't did nothing. You feel me? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo, goddamn, you and me. Holy shit. Yo, OJ yeah. ain't did it. He ain't do it. Why? Y'all not clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he lived in Kendall. <laughs> nah, OJ. No, 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 CB, I ain't gonna lie, man. Thank you, my Pre brother. I appreciate y'all, man. Real I appreciate shit. you coming through. 
Asking they got why am I coming through? Shit too, man. No, no, no. We're not, we're not ending there. Oh, no, no, no. We're not ending there. We just making you feel comfortable. I'm like, yeah, they got me like, look at this. Yo, listen. We're not ending there. We're just making you feel comfortable. This is, this is, this is my trick. All right, let's get it. I do niggas. I make you feel comfortable at this point. Can you give him a shot? Hell no. Who you right talking here. to? Oh, no, no, no. Who did you talk to right now? In my mind. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was just somebody. No, because it was only there at first. But yeah, I thought he was talking to All right, to come on. The next, <laughs> next quick time with slime. Yeah, no, nah, you, your phone. My phone's gone. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. the next question? Yeah, next question. It's, uh... Yeah. Take it. It's Dale que tu puedes. Dale, dale. Dale, dale. Come on. I know Neil's in there. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Which one? Usher, Usher Neil. There you go. You said it. All right. Usher or Usher Neil? Usher or Neil? And what aspect though? I no, know, I know it's, it's like, whatever. It, actually, it's whatever's. We just trying to give like, you a drink. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> whatever you're gonna drink to. Well, shit. I can't say both, but I'm, I'm gonna say go, both because you ain't got a drink. I'm gonna go with Usher if we're talking about performance artists, the whole nine. Who's like, yeah, boom. But Neil has written so much amazing shit. And a great artist, but I'm gonna just go as far as entertainer, Usher. Okay, let me ask you this though, because you said something that's very, very vital mm -hmm. to rappers, right? You just said the Usher. Writing part. You said Usher. Forgive what part you said, but then you said Neo has, has wrote writer. so much. Why in hip hop that is frowned upon. Because if I, if I was to write a song for you, right? Mm -hmm. Like if Chris Brown was to come to me and say, y'all want to write a song about Queens, New York. Mm -hmm. And then you say to me, Nori, I want you to write it. And I write it. It's frowned upon. Yeah. But you know what it is? Because it depends on the artist. In right. a hip hop in a hip hop standpoint. Right. If you stand on your business, so of you hobby, you rapping and you doing your shit, right? We don't want to hear about some somebody else's robbery. Yeah, if you say you're an we MC, like, you feel me? Right. So uh, we not gonna respect it from a hip hop culture to be like, man, that's hard. That nigga wrote it for him. <laughs> like, like, well, then what are we listening to you for? Then right. we can listen to this nigga. You but why is that accepted in R and B? Because everybody can't sing. I can't sing for real. So guess what? Oh, okay. No matter who, but I always say it like this, right? Because I never discredit writers who write on my album. I got hella co-writers and we do certain shit, right? Describe. But us. it's just like this. They can write it. Who gonna sing it like me? So at the end of the day, you might can write some beautiful shit that hey, it gets <laughs> overlooked because it don't sound good. Mm. But a singer has CB. more of a percentage to be like, you know what, hey. Make this motherfucker mine, you know? So it's different. And then, and with me, I always give credit to my co-writers and co-producers and shit. I don't see that as Cause you wish your shit. That's some key Yeah, word. but it would be so lame of me to be like, well, to I just not. wrote this when I was going through this. Or That's cap as hell, man. Like, hey, you got, I got a collective dope group of young individuals and we always write some shit. The same amount of people that can see the song, they're like, okay, they wrote the majority of that. But then they'll see me see that they one up me on that and I'm like, watch this then. And I go and then I give them a song, privacy, or I give them a song that I wrote by myself and be mm. like, see, I told you I could do it. Right. So it's different in, in in the singing aspect. Rappers, you better learn your shit. Ain't no nigga ever wrote a rap for me. <laughs> I, ain't no nigga, okay, rap this and sing this. Nah, I'll sing it. I ain't rap, nah, I write my own rap. You feel me? It's just a different. Not even T Pain when you and T Pain? Nah, T Pain is my nigga. T Pain, what? we done, we, he done did Kiss Kiss with me and all that. But as far as like, okay, we want to hear you rap and no melody. We want to right. hear you just get off. Because you be getting, you be getting down now. But like, that's me. That ain't like, okay, cool. My homie wrote this in a car for me five minutes ago. That's what we thought. Nah, never. never. Hell no, I wouldn't even do it. Then. Like, that's the, the MC in here. That's the hip hop. What the fuck I'm even going to touch it for? I'm like, I'd be like, you know what? Let's just do a regular interview. Let's not do written any rap this time. You know? <laughs> like, if that's the case, I ain't fucking with that shit. Your voice choice was just ill, though. <laughs> <laughs> Would you feel me? So... But yeah, I feel like rappers need to. Uh, rappers need that. Like, if you gonna sing and but, have but, a hook, but, but, but why is it? Let me ask you something. But why is it, it accepted in R and B and it's not accepted? in He the said because hip not everybody can sing. Yeah, not oh, everybody can sing. Yeah, not everybody can sing. I just feel like the rappers too. Like, don't get me wrong. It's hella motherfuckers that wrote for girl rappers or guy rappers, and if it's you, the, you if work it, with everybody. Yeah, but if it's a hook like the chorus, right, and somebody right. wrote the hook. 
I'm not judging the fucking artist that rapped on the song right. because the hook was dope the hook, and it was right. some R&B shit. Wow. No, but if you get up there and you start talking about some shit that you trying to sell yourself, rap is different than singing. You, you, you trying to sell you. I can sell a dream with music, you, with, with, my, with, with vocals. Right. With a, with a voice, you got to be the one unique voice out the bunch that we, a nigga want to hear. Right. So we don't hear no lies in between that shit. Uh, right. That's just my take on it. I, I, I just love your honesty, bro. <laughs> no, I Look, love your honesty. Right. But you did say dream. Yeah. If you and dream go versus, you smoking dreams as well, right? I just yeah, say, oh, for oh. sure. Okay. <laughs> dream. Dream is, is cool as fuck. I ain't hating on bro. He's a great writer. But hell nah. Come on, man. Hell nah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> You ready? Holy oh, shit. Quick, quick time of slide. Missy or Eve? Ooh, Missy. I gotta go Missy, VA, all day. Because that's Virginia? And no, uh, she produced, rap, sing, everything. People don't know how great that woman is. That woman is phenomenal. Yeah, no, no, Missy is what? great. Yeah, Missy is great. We need her on Dream Chance, by the way. Fact. Yeah, she cold. Scott Storch or Timberland? Shit. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. I, I, I love your style. Yeah, I ain't playing with them. Cheers, 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 cheers. I done seen Scott Storch do some amazing fucking shit Me too. with a keyboard. And Me I done too. seen Timlin do That's some amazing brother. fucking shit with his vocal cords in brother. the studio. Just doing something and we different. We love Scott Storch. So, yeah. yeah. I love that you drinking today. And Timlin, man. Love Shout out. Facts. By the way, can we... I just want to... I'm going to be honest. Every time you took a shot, it's different. <laughs> It's the way you I'm, take I'm a shot. I'm doing dance moves with my shot. You're doing bro. dance moves with your shot. I gotta shots. convince myself that it's cool, you feel me? <laughs> and guess what? You're winning! <laughs> so Keep it going. <laughs> Keith Sweat or Johnny Gill? You taking a shot? Keith Sweat. You taking, oh. Oh, Keith Sweat, okay. Yeah. All right. Johnny Gill's dope, but Keith Sweat, yeah. Keith Sweat. We I, I rolled in the elevator with Keith Sweat. You do what? <laughs> I rolled in the elevator. Oh, he's well. got bitches right now. Like right now. Yes, he does. Oh. Female. Sorry, ladies. I ain't yes. gonna that. Yeah, yeah. He has Man. women right now. All right. Pharrell or Kanye? Man. For real. Man, he did that quick. Well, you already said Joel's is a Is that bleak. personal? Hell no. Nah. Pharrell's just the GOAT. He is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He is the GOAT. Everybody want to be like Pharrell, man. We need to go to something in the water tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to make it. <laughs> you make it, bro. You better make bro, it. It's fucking me up right now. Bro. Hey, you you definitely spoke in tongue right now. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Nah, this is Chris Brown. This is the GOAT. We with Chris Brown. Go ahead, keep going. Fab or Jada Kiss? Ooh, Ooh. What the fuck? I'm taking a shot. I'm not playing. They my brothers. Both of them my brothers. Can I pour your shot? You pour mine? Fuck yeah. no. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to pour a little bit at a time. Y'all trying to give me a... I knew, I, I knew, I knew cheers, this is where you going cheers. with it. But yo, you, he's just the smoothest shot taker uh, in the world. This is how you take a shot. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to try to, I'm gonna do, try to do, do, do your best Chris Brown Chris shot. Chris Brown shot taker. <laughs> what did you do? You didn't That's how you take a shot. Nah, that oh, shit was yeah. way smoother. It's mad more smoother. I can't intimidate. I can't. What is it called? Im Im imitate? Imitate yeah, what you're doing. You. But you intimidating. <laughs> I'm going to take one more shot. Just good. Just... Yeah, Go ready? Ahead. One more. One more. One more again? Yeah. Bieber or Timberlake? Timberlake. Okay. Like as far as I don't know what we're judging. It's, it's whatever you want yeah. it to be. The Beaver's my brother, but Timberlake is like a goat. And you know them both. He's a goat. Yeah, those are Timberlake the greatest white boys both. in the world. We love these people. More? Besides Diego and Eric. <laughs> is Eric here? No, you just talking about him? I just do that. Because I'm a great person. Mariah or Janet? Oh, Janet. I like that. Busta or Eminem? Busta. I love Eminem, but Busta. That nigga killed your shit. Busta. Busta. His rhymes were way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, he killed your shit. <laughs> he's crazy. And he still's killing. No, oh, to Busta's day. killing to what? this day. What? what are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, he's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got some new shit, too. Oh, yeah? Some new shit? Yeah, we got some new shit, yeah. 
Nigga ain't called me. We just have a type joint. Oh, oh shit. Hell oh, yeah. Some different little vibe. He on his different bag. I fuck with it. Monica or Brandy? Ooh. I'm gonna tell you right now, I always say my favorite female vocalist is Brandy, so I gotta go with Brandy. Monica is family for real though, so she gonna cuss me out later. And I'm sorry, baby. But yeah, Brandy for sure. Didn't Brandy just she beefed with somebody, she was battling somebody recently. Well, I don't know. I, I was like I gotta call Ray J huh? right now. Oh yeah, Ray J the homie. <laughs> But Where did she go? Nah, she battled somebody. Sure. She spit like some out shit. Take a shot. Let me just. Let me just. Huh? Jack Harlow. Oh no, the Brandy beef with Jack Harlow. That's a good fact. <laughs> but her rhymes were ill though. She no, spit some ill no, rhymes. No, 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 no. What happened was what happened was Jack Harlow didn't un, didn't know that Brandy and Ray J was brothers. He didn't diss her. He didn't diss her. He didn't diss her. But her rhymes were ill though. Her rhymes were ill though. Jack Harlow is is. A white person that's down with us. <laughs> no, we I fuck with Jack. Him. He on my album. Yeah, he on your album. Yeah, we love him. He on my album. He's Jack a great is the guy. homie, man. He can come to the cookout, man. For sure, come to the cookout. Am I invited to the cookout, nigga? <laughs> Chris Brown, I just want to go to a Chris Brown party. He's gonna party. be your cookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. Know. He don't want to throw the party. Let me be honest. I'll right. be seeing your house online. <laughs> do, do, do y'all throw cookouts here? Shit, now we throw uh, parties and shit. What do y'all throw? We just be having vibes, like... I'm know. a married man. Nah, so. but vibes, like, do sometimes... we have married man? Like, you know, like, Taco <laughs> Tuesdays, like, we'll do, we'll do Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so, like, at the movie theater, I'll do, we'll have food, and then it'll just be, like, me and, like, six movie of homies and, like, 20 girls. Yeah, I don't need to be a part of that part. Nah, just be chilling. It's just <laughs> just come with your vibe. wife, bro. You good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it ain't no like it ain't no like slut party, no crazy shit. I oh, be vibing, I, I, like niggas be chilling. But I can chill. I can come yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah, you can chill. I just want to come in here. Right. So you might you might get a couple of naked girls. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, I don't want no naked girls. Nah, they just free to do whatever they want. So. Oh, that ain't got nothing to do with me though. Like, I'm just saying, I can still go home and buy me. They might you just might see a naked girl just walk past you, just. Yeah. Chris Brown, I don't want to be a part of that. You don't have to be. I was just like, you know, I just, I was just, I just, I just want to be a part of the good part. Can I be? So go to the other side. Listen, listen, Ray J said, I'm his married friend. Yeah. But then he didn't listen to none of my advice. <laughs> So I nah. didn't want to be his married Ray, friend. Nah, Ray J, my homie yeah. for life. He went and talked to the police for me. I don't even. Don't, don't, I don't know yeah, where this is I'm, going. I'm gonna let y'all. Look. Yeah, I'll tell you the story. It's funny. Let's so talk man, about remember it. years ago when the girl claimed that I pulled a gun on her in my house? Like oh, they, yeah. the SWAT was out here and all kind of crazy shit. Yeah, the crazy shit ever. Ray J and then was here. I was sleep the majority of that incident. Ray J, they had a tattoo party here. So Ray J up in here, boom, boom. I wake up. You said a tattoo party? Yeah, so so okay. certain people have tattoos. But right. I'm saying it was hella people, hella girls in here. So I guess whatever went down happened. The police just came in this here. I'm like, what the fuck is all the SWAT outside for? They're like, bro, I don't know. I'm going to go talk to him. I said, no, don't go outside. This Ray J telling you that? Man, what? I said, don't go outside. I'm not going to. I was watching this. Nigga, but I'm talking about in the morning time before that shit happened. Yeah, like, I didn't watch that. Part. So he go okay. outside. I'm, I'm like, bro, I can't believe they even tripping. What the fuck going on? He go outside. Look, we turn on the music. Up. The cops was like, yeah, just send the owner out here. Let's just talk to him right quick. He's like, the owner's asleep. Yeah, we're going to bed. Y'all can have a fucking good night. Like, That's Ray J solid as a motherfucker. I'm talking about. Other motherfuckers, I'm talking about niggas that we know, rappers, all kind of. Hey, bro, I'm not trying to get in trouble. Man, shut your bitch ass. <laughs> like, oh, but, but Ray J was a real was a real one and went out there, you know what I'm saying? After everybody seen that the motherfucker was actually lying and it was bullshit, right. everybody didn't want to say nothing about it. It just, it just went quiet. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? But Ray J was the first one to jump off the porch and be like, hey, bro, no. Like, bro, you ain't have to do that. So that I nigga been famous for a long time. No, too. but I fuck with bro. Let's like, be clear. Girl. That nigga been on Living Single. That nigga was in the Superman what's shit. What's up? Uh, Rich, no, what's Rich, 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 what's Shaq? What's Shaq's movie? Uh, not, 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 not Kazam. The no. other one, Steel. He and that. He and that. Ray J and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't know what we talking about, but I love it. But you know what I'm saying? I love it. But Ray J is a solid nigga, though. That's solid nigga. Are we taking another shot? No, but he know you're solid nigga, so I... Two guns in the air for my. I, I feel like time. we should take a shot for Ray. No, no, we should take the shot. You I'm, just, I'm gonna load up. Right, How about this? Sure. You guys, I'm it. not gonna take the shot. I'm just gonna load up, cause, bro, I see you drink more than you smoke. You scared of the weed or something? Oh no, he definitely not scared of the weed. Oh, oh my God, dude. Let me just tell you something. I'm outside. Okay, <laughs> I'm outside. See. 
Always without keep it right now. Yeah, he, exactly. he, 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 he tested me. I'm good. Are you ready, Soldier Boy or Bow Wow? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be real. I, I would have to say Bow because, like I said, Bow was like the real pioneer to show me how to be a, an artist. Showmanship, stage presence. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? So Bow, I'm going so Bow. Going, he going Bow. He went Bow. Soldier yeah. my homie too, though. <laughs> but, yeah, Bow. Thriller or Off the Wall? Ooh. Depends on who, what type of Michael Jackson you like. I feel like you Which one do you like? Uh, yeah, I, I got feel like this is the last I'm going to say off the wall. Mm. Ooh. I don't know why. I thought you would have said Thriller. I thought nah, he would have said Thriller. Because once you, once you know that, that was some shit that when he first broke out, where he was getting his essence from, like, people weren't ready for that sound. So by the time his other shit came, they was already yearning for some other shit. So that's why they went back and listened to it after that. And, and it's so... Off the wall was, was yeah. Mm -hmm. Dre or Puff? I'm going to go off my relationships. I'll say Puff. Dre, Dre, I know Dre. Dre cool. All respect. West Coast, all that. But I, I really, I'm like family with Puff in there, so. I feel like we should still take a shot for that. If you can take a shot you for that. You just taking a shot without, the, not that's not the rules, bro. Relax. Dude, I'm like, I'm, you know when they be like, yo, I'm nice? That's how I feel right now. I'm nice. You right there, sir. Yeah. Can you I don't want to be like, oh. yo, what was Let him doing? go with the rules of the Fuck game. Can we yeah. get, can he wanted, he want to drink. Make him drink. <laughs> no, he got to drink. He's drink. grown man. He can drink. Look, he ain't, look, full ass cup and shit. First kick. Oh, I feel like you just think. One nah. Pop. Look, I'm going to fill the glass up in case I got to drink, but I don't think so. I love, listen, this nigga's oh. playing the game. He's right. playing the uh, game. Uh, 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 uh. He know he going to drink that. <laughs> Marvin Gaye or Smokey Robinson? Marvin Gaye. He said it that quick. Damn. Al Green or Teddy Pendergrass? Al Green. Jeez. I know that. MJ or Prince? Shit. MJ. No Prince interactions? Prince is, Prince is amazing. I ain't hating. Do you have a Prince story? Do you we love, love yes. Prince stories. Okay, cool. So, you like, ain't. You met Prince? I got a Prince story. Fuck please, no! Please, please. I got a Prince story. Let's so, go. Give us, give us so a Prince, Prince story. story. This, is, this, is, this is like probably one of my most influential shit, but my saddest shit. Um, Like... I caught a, I caught a case right in uh in DC at one point. Well, Prince? No, no, hell. <laughs> that would have been epic though. No. That would have been epic. <laughs> no, like so. Yo, I this thing is gonna go to Kings yeah. Prince. No, That's all. Let's no, go. No. So I caught a case in DC, a, a fighting case. So when instead of me like turning myself in for violating probation, I turned myself into a rehab. So it'll look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like right. damn, well, yeah. I got a problem, so I need to stay in, so yeah. they won't put me in jail. Just, I ain't never told nobody that. But on the way, literally on the way to go check myself into the, to the spot, you know what I'm saying? It was Prince emotional. Nah, hell no. Listen. <laughs> let him, <laughs> let him so, prince it out, bro. Yeah, so on the way Sorry, to the spot, I just right? want Prince to be everywhere. Like, <laughs> so on the way that. to the spot, like, mind you, like, I've never really been around, bro, or been, like, in a setting. So then, literally, in the car getting there, I get a call, and I'm like, yo, I'm like, what's up? Like, hello. Like his voice deep as hell. Like, wait, in the car you get a call from? Yeah, yeah, from him, from Prince. And I was like, "Yo," he's like, "I just want to be able to show you how to navigate through this stuff." And oh, I'm like, I'm here for you, bro. You wait, hold up, but y'all never had a prior never, relationship. Never, nah. Like, he reached out. Like, honestly, like, cause I guess he could see what what type of shit That's I was Ill. going through. So yeah, he reached out. So the difference was throughout that time, I, I went, I got incarcerated after that. So. By the time I got out and and really kind of shook back, like he had died. You know what I'm saying? So I really never got to, got a chance to kind of like link what, with him. What did he, he, what did he to, tell you though? What, like if you could if you could say? No, nah, basically, so, yeah. ba ba basically, he was just saying like, uh, you know, don't lose focus. You're like whatever your life. He was just trying to like uplift mm -hmm. you at the moment. Yeah, but he was saying it, it's it's more of like a he wanted to have a conversation about about being special. You get what mm. I'm saying? So I like I feel like I didn't get all the knowledge that I was supposed to get from him. But at the same time, I like I was appreciative that even somebody in my worst time like called me with no wow. with no tie to me to be That's like, dope, man. I wow. understand what you got what you're going through or whatever. So I just need you to understand your power or your life. So that right there kinda like made me ask the question more, like what what am I doing this for? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that that's I ain't really told nobody that story, but it's a it's a true story. That's dope. That's probably my best story I've ever heard. <laughs> you met Prince. No, I, met, I met him. I met him once, and it was Did just he like, have "What's up?" Else? 
I, shit, I don't know. You don't remember? Shit. Ass I mean, out? Oh, you don't remember? <laughs> you said ass out. Hell yeah. no. Nah, that would be something. That you don't remember that? Be like, you I ain't, nah, that. I was, I ain't want to be here. Nah, I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. But nah. No, nah, because I'm, I'm, I, the first why, of all, let's hold on, but let's clarify some shit. He the only nigga that can go ass out and then fuck your mom, fuck <laughs> your, your mama's mom, and where's the letter? And then, and then say, "Come on, <laughs> we gonna go get our hair done nah, at the same facts, time, bitch." Facts. And she gonna still be on my payroll. <laughs> <laughs> He, like, he was out there. Don't play with Prince. Yeah, do not play with Prince like that. Prince was not playing, man. Fuck, he was but, not playing, but, man. But, but, but see, me, I, I, and I'm so sorry to put this pressure on you. Yeah. But that's who you are. Prince? I ain't Prince. You Prince? Hell no. Nah. I don't have to be there. No, nah, all that. All CB, that CB. You should do he got it. Hey, no, no, first of all, let's, let's just give other niggas their flowers, too. I'm giving you your flowers. I do my shit, but... Prince played every instrument. Listen, Chris know. Brown, can I tell you who and you are? And he broke away from the, hold from on, the hold on, hold on, hold record label. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, same if shit Prince, me. Prince and Michael Jackson had a baby. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to be me. You making some crazy I ain't, shit. I ain't, I, ain't got, I ain't walking around my ass out. I don't know what he talking about. No ass out. Leave the ass out. Leave the ass out. Know. Know. He wants you some salon. No ass out. Oh, no. But Chris Brown, in case you don't know, yeah, you are. Ice you team. are. Yeah. Maury Maury you are the child. The, you are the ultimate light skin. No, no light skin. No, no. This got nothing to do with light skin no more. You Creatively. are our errors. When you drop an album, we stand around and we wait. I appreciate that. Man. When you drop a single, we stand around and we listen. No. And in case you don't know, we know exactly who the fuck you are. I appreciate that. And we're going to honor it, and we're going to salute it, and we're going to respect you that way. Facts. And in case you don't know, if Michael Jackson and Prince had a baby, <laughs> it's you, nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went too far? Nah, I guess we just got to clap for that. <laughs> you got to just clap for it. <laughs> oh, Michael and Prince, huh? <laughs> show That's in. hard, though. Ain't that hard? I mean, I mean, they're they're greats, man. I know. Uh, I just painted. I painted a, a spot downtown, and uh, it's for the Grammy organization we did. So, but I painted. They just let me do a mural. So I put James Brown, Prince, and Michael, and then me <laughs> in the side. But I did it a couple years ago. I forgot the other. Name. But I did it to the point where they can't pull it off. So if they wanted to retry it, it's hard. I like. I, yeah, I kind of made my shit forever. But that's no. that's who you are, sir. I'm gonna be honest, cause I see you being so humble. Cause we in your your beautiful house. By the way, you had beautiful everything. Thank you, man. But I just wanted to tell you, in case you're trying to be too humble. Man, fuck that. I'm being real. I think this is me. It's just I don't get a... You that nigga, y'all. You got Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't want you to say you appreciate it. I want you to say yes. I was going to be like, yeah, I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. Yeah, cook the fuck up. Listen, Thanks. let me just tell you something. I... Every time I interview somebody, I go to Twitter. Mm -hmm. But this time, I didn't, because I wanted to be, like, I wanted this to be the secret there. Mm -hmm. So we looked on Twitter, and you know what everyone told me? Chris Brown is dropping the album on the 25th. Yeah, they was, they was talking about you to us. Y'all got to go crazy. see Chris Brown. That's dope. I and I'm looking at it. No, no, I screenshotted every one of these niggas. I want the niggas to, to feel good. Yeah, yeah. Later. Yeah. You got to give them that shout out because they requested it. You know, let's be clear. A lot, a lot of people don't. I don't do interviews because I'll be real. A lot of times I don't do interviews because it's just the wrong narrative. Like it's not a. But you want to drink some Ace of Spade? You want to nah. take a shot? Yeah, nah. <laughs> he says wrong name. You're like Look, drink some more. This, <laughs> this, 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 this is your brother having fun with you, man. Nah, and we listen, appreciate you. I want every one of y'all motherfuckers big up my nigga and. But look, guess what? It's about giving you your flowers. Appreciate that. And we going cause you know why. I, I feel like you ain't accept your flowers for a long time. Mm -hmm. I felt like when the industry was telling you how great you were, you didn't actually. Maybe. I mean, but I feel like I got, I got a lot of work to do. Like, I don't feel like I don't. Even if my flowers not given, that ain't going to really kind of like stop my objective. So I'm like, shit, the, the flower, let the flowers pile up. You know what I'm saying? That's real. If I don't see them, Damn. shit, let them pile up right now. Because I'm going to just keep the work. At the same level, you know, I'm gonna work like ain't no flowers. 
<laughs> I'm always yeah. like, hey, cool, I got to make you, I make flowers. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think the drive for me, like, dissipates or goes away. It's just a different outlook, you know? And it's crazy. No, look, with, a, answer, with, a, right. with a catalog like his, yeah. from the, the career, from the age he started, to still have that drive is incredible. Mm. Yeah. And it's weed hitting too, though. I ain't even <laughs> Yeah, please, please. Can you smoke more of our weed, please? It's, it's we, we had Kanye West smoke oh, this week. Oh, gave me the bag, so I'm, you know. I'm, uh, we got the gumbo. Be, we got the smoke chat. for about two weeks. So how about, how, 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 how about, because um, that, that, was, that was a relationship, you and Kanye. Mm -hmm. how, how about you and Kanye? Mm -hmm. Where y'all at? Shit, I'm cool, like. Like even with me, like I, you know, I'm goofy, so I'm gonna roast the hell out of whoever. So I know, I know, <laughs> so I know he was mad because I roasted him about his haircut. <laughs> I did too. Shit, the whole world did, man. Yeah, yeah hey, man. we right. saw it, but it, we love everything else, but that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, his haircut wasn't right. No, nah, was not. Nah, but bro, good. Oh, me right. and me and him, like even like, it's no issue. I understand his madness. And, and and genius at the same time. So, like, I would never, I would never even get on the platform and try to dish or be like, well, man, he's doing a lot for black people, man. Like, as far as being the first, it don't even matter. As long as you pioneer some shit, you the first to do it. Right. So we are gonna respect it. And we'll anybody that don't that. respect it, it's lame as fuck. So we'll take a shot. I, to I that. fuck with Kanye. You know, yeah, are we taking a shot to that? Shot, bro? I do. I take a shot for Ye. Take a shot for Ye. Don't get the haircut no more. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Ye does what the fuck Ye wants to do, right? Come on. We, how much more questions you got? You got Then this is your day. Today Chico. you quick time with Slime. Chico. Today you quick time with so Slime. So quick time with EFN then. Quick time with EFN. <laughs> Al Green or... Oh, no, we said that already. Yeah. Bobby Brown or I'll Be Sure? Bobby Brown. He a goat too, man. Shout out to Bobby, man. Fuck all that. And I'll Be Sure too. Let's just be clear. I'll Be Sure cool. Nah, Bobby that, Brown, that, that, that nigga a legend. led the light skin community. Nah, I'll be that, sure is a legend. That's y'all opinion. Bobby Brown is dead. No, Bobby nigga. Brown, no, yeah, he Bobby is. Brown. No, Bobby Brown nigga. is the you guy. Hear me? Bobby Prerogative. Brown. Bobby Brown was everything. the first. Come on, Everything, man. yeah. Everything Bobby I mean, Brown. Yeah, and yeah. Let, do you know Bobby Brown cooked chicken with cocaine? <laughs> you can't always just bring that up, dog. That can't be the only thing about Bobby Brown that you want to bring up. I love it. Hey, it was a point in time when Bobby Brown had every female in the world. And he's cold. Come up. He saw it. Say, man. Bobby is Bobby. And his last name Brown, so I'm never hating on him. He got to. Going back to like, like, this. You got, you got yeah. Terry Motors. I respect yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. All mean, right, let's go. Hey, let's see, Bobby on. Brown, you know what I'm saying? It's hey, Brown Bias. You're a legend forever. Okay, let's, let's go. Otis Redding or Sam Cooke? Sam Cooke. Erica Badu or Alicia Keys? I fuck with sis, but Erica Badu started all that. <laughs> Stevie Wonder or Luther Vandross? TV Wonder. New edition of Jackson 5. Jackson 5. TLC, SWV. SWV. And then, you want to see the last one? No, I feel like you got to keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one that we say in every episode. Uh -huh. oh. Loyalty or respect? We'll take a shot. Relax, no, 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 bro. Let him, I, I just want to take a shot. Let him give his answer, man. <laughs> Can't go right to the shot. Damn. I would say loyalty. Because if you loyal to me, you already respect me. You know what I'm saying? So I go I go with loyalty. You could fear me and still respect me if I if you scared of me. But right. at the same time, no, I I don't want to bring fear out. I'm serious. Yes, I'm more with loyalty. Yeah. I just want to make some noise for that. Can you take a shot, though, still? Yeah. <laughs> I took one. You want to take a shot? Just say take a shot and take a shot. Listen, we are celebrating your album. We are celebrating. I'm not trying to celebrate in the motherfucking toilet. Did you say like cele I celebrate? <laughs> yeah, celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Then, but we celebrating your new album. Yeah. But not just your new album. We celebrating your whole career. We celebrate Man, your whole right. fucking career. Yeah. Your whole life. And how... That I kind of felt like I put you on. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, I, I, I held your hand, young kid. Young no, man, sure, I brought you in the studio. Sure, no, but, 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 but let's be clear, I do need a hook. I, sure. I don't even make music no more. So, so how I'm going to do with this hook? Yeah, so I'm, send it. Let me hear what it sounds like. <laughs> 
I'm gonna keep it a thousand. If, if you gonna tell me that, I'm be like, you see what the real? Why we do drink champs? Drink champs, so he could do an album at the end of drink champs. No, no, this will be this this will be drink champs album. But you should make every nigga that's that was on the show do a feature with you. Imagine I could do that. You gotta pull that. You gotta imagine I could do that. Imagine I could do. Yeah. Oh, you going viral? I'm going. But, 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 we could have done it, but you know we can't do it. Biggest episode this year. You nigga. <laughs> Come on, uh, are we taking shots or are we taking juice? I just took my motherfucking shot. No, yo, yo, I see it. I know you just drink champs. So y'all gonna see me get you my studio. You know that's Boyo Loco right there, right? I gave you my studio. You, you, we here. Let's go. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really, really proud of you. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much, man. Why, 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 why? At some point, you didn't reach the level that you was at and just quit and just say, you know, because I've been there where the yeah. level where I've been like, all right, cool. I got everything. Mm -hmm. I could just leave. Why um, you didn't never do that? I think that was just the easy thing to do. Like, I think that would have been like the easy route. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Even my struggle before that or whatever, I, my whole life I've, I've been able to uh, be creative in chaos. So it's like, regardless of whatever's going on, like I understand the end goal and where I was trying to be and what I wanted to do. So. Right. When I when I even got a little bit of success, if some some certain fan loved my song or they heard some shit, I'd be like, okay, cool. So where I'm at, well, the frequency of the pocket I'm in is good. Like, so this people are going through the same shit. So I think the transition was me understanding and then actually uh, building a bigger audience, not based off of just looks or me just trying to make shit on a I pull your on a scale you. on, on, on a weird scale. Like it was more so like I could see that they really appreciated the music, you know. Mm -hmm. He just wants to pour the shot. Yeah, yeah. He shit. He gonna have I to drink that one. We at his house. We are. We it's can't. A beautiful. Is we this can't not fall a beautiful asleep. day. Is this not a beautiful day. Look, we in. Chris Brown smoking smoke champs. Smoke champs. Oh, he's yeah. smoking smoke champs. And oh, gumbo. gumbo. He's smoking gumbo. everything. Gumbo for sure. Did gumbo you, and drink champs. Is he first time champs. drinking smoking gumbo? Mm -mm, I smoke gumbo before. Ah! Come on, what the fuck? Niggas really smoke like that, like. So that's that's like my only like. I'm sorry, I just want to take a shot with you. I'm gonna let you do it. I'm gonna let you take the shot. Fuck me. You feel me? Wait, I don't know what that meant. Take it from me. He said. He said by yourself, my friend. Look, look, Chris Brown. Look, Chris Brown. Look, look. You got it. I got you, I got now, you. Now look, so the good thing about it is go the bathroom one? is 13 steps away. Nah, I, 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 so I ain't throwing up. Do you think I'm throwing up? up? You know what I'm saying? Are you think I'm throwing up? No, I don't think you are. No. But it's a lot. Listen. We're going to go half and half. I'm like already feeling it. My eyes are going upside down. No, you need to take a shot. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't deal with the peer pressure, bro. With this you thing. ain't got to deal with the peer pressure. So, we already established that you said... You'll smoke anybody in verses. <laughs> Everybody. Usher. Uh, you don't want Cisco. Hey, <laughs> Cisco. Or the Hall of Drew Hill. It's like, I don't want people. To, yeah, Cisco is fucking amazing. But Cisco was the man at one point. That's the stuff on Cisco. What you mean? Hell yeah, yeah. Cisco, like. Thong you know, song was hard. No bullshit. Yeah, right. I mean, can't, but, but they can't hate on that. Yeah. They can't hate on that. They can't hate on that. Cisco still, you know what I'm saying? Vocally, all, all that. And he Mario was too. I'm gonna be real. Mario probably was. Like, oh shit, Mario! Yeah, yeah. Mario Cole. Mario, like you, motherfuckers, got giving him his flowers. Like Mario Raw. We love Mario. Singing like, you, yeah, that boy can sing. For sure. We don't want him against you, though. That's not what we're saying. No, I mean him is is it's like we family. It ain't even no no verses. I can appreciate his talent and say, look. Boys, I, lo I love how Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Like, he does not diss anybody. No, nah, I can't. Cause I, I love I, I, how you do it. Why diss anybody? His album was always on also mine, bro. I just had to sing his song and braid my hair. Nigga grew hair just so I could sing <laughs> braid my hair. Yeah, like, mm. You feel me? So you got to give people their flowers. I said, I used to grow hair just so, so I could have a song on the braid my hair shit. My shit, I used to have long hair. And be able to sing Mario shit. Everybody know that. Sammy, Mario. <laughs> All the young niggas that were singing, like, that was hard. 
For sure. I'm not no hater. Right. <laughs> and you don't fuck with champagne, correct? Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, a, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a new artist. Nori has a new R and B artist called Champagne. Oh, God, I'm, I'm just so honored. Hell, I'm just nah, so honored to be here. I can't pass out on y'all show. I'm just smoking this weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Fuck the mother niggas because you down with our niggas. But I'm on. I want to. I want to honor you, bro. You could have did Oprah. You could have did anybody. <laughs> but you chose us. Yeah. And you know what we choosing? We choosing you more. Appreciate yeah. y'all. So this yeah. album that you about to drop, we already downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> you got bootlegs. Facts. Now I got you. I'm sending out an early shit anyway. You no, gotta... we might just bootleg your shit. Just on the real end. Bootleg it. We found a reason. Yeah, boys. We going to buy bootlegs. He's still in the world, but he's going to get the real thing. Bootleg that shit then buy something. Just no, so no, we buying it all. Yeah, you feel me? Because we rich too. We don't buy it all. But buy one of them. But come on, man. Chris Brown, we just want you to know face to face, man to man, eye to eye. We love you, brother. Thank you, man. I love you. Everything too. that you did to this game and everything you continue to do, we love it. And we're going to continue to honor it over here on this side. Facts. What we do. So, so we just want you to know that, my brother. Yeah. Hey, free my brother Slime, man. Want to... Facts. And you, and you know I made up the word Slime, right? I don't know if you know that. Well, you made that word up? How? I, this nigga don't even... He, that's he, crazy. He's thinking I'm playing. Nah, he might be telling some shit. But shit, I be like, I, I, nah, he's telling the truth. I'm telling... 2001. Okay, bro. So, I ain't... I, it wasn't, it wasn't gang. It wasn't gang shit. All right, it's just how you just speak your lingo. Yeah, you no, want to. No, my nigga... My nigga... My, 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 my brother down Lazy went to the store mm -hmm. to get a turkey and cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, I said, I want a piece. And he said, damn, you a slime nigga. That's it. <laughs> And that's hard. That's kind of hard. And that's how. And then all, all the y'all gang niggas. This is saying slime, yeah. It's saying slime. Free the slime for a turkey man. and cheese sandwich. For sure. Oh God. <laughs> Free the slime. Go figure. Fat. That's hard but, though. Yo, yo, CB. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us to your crib. Thank you. But do you got your Grammy Award? Look at your Grammy Award. No, this shit flames. I'm going to hang it up. I ain't going to bullshit. You going to hang it up for you real? You I got the little basketball little shit up there too, but I got yeah, like, Those gonna... roses don't die, by the way. They don't yeah, die. They don't die. For sure. Well, I'm going to spray them up the anyway. Even if they, if they do die, we're going to try to bring them back to life. <laughs> but let's just be clear. Your first session, <laughs> I was there for you, right? Yeah. Facts. Did you sign him? I think no, you signed him, right? I don't, I don't, I don't oh, you cast. discovered him. No, in yeah, my mind. Oh, you was there in Virginia. <laughs> I just was there. Just, <laughs> just let me ride with this corner story. Right. But, CB, we love you. My brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, yeah. This album is dropping. 24th, man. The 24th. How many songs is on this album? Only 23. I ain't want to kill, it, kill everybody. Oh, only 23. <laughs> Shit, I had 45 on the last one. <laughs> So it's like, yo, everybody was like, don't give me all that long shit. So nah, I'm like, the whole body there, work. I was like, it's going to yeah. be good. I think y'all, right. I, I, I differentiated the, the, the songs and I think everybody going to fuck with it. Okay, last question. Did you, um, <laughs> I felt already worried. Yeah, be worried. You ain't, you ain't bootlegging your own um solo picture when you was in the mirror oh. like this. What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, how did that come out? What did you do though? I didn't get it. He had a solo huh? picture. He had a picture. Now nobody has in the yard. He went like he was this. in the yard. Like this. In, in, in this. Like you talking about a naked picture? Bro? The naked picture. Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Why did you ask that question? Ew, that was your question? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> we got girl. We got girl followers. We need to man. understand. We got. I we got. I, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna roll my dog. We got girl I'm, followers. Dang, I'm gonna be like <laughs> ew. I'm just saying ew. I'm not ew. Did you say ew? Definitely ew. Yeah, ew. it definitely ew. is. I don't know what that means, but I'm with it. Yeah, it means yeah. yeah I'm not. <laughs> ew. But we good, man. I love you. We good. Man. Love you. you. My brother. You already know. Hey. I'm smoking some marijuana. Hey. Hey. Thank you, brother.